Only important thing is the question. Now answer it or you fail. I'm so confused. I don't understand what's going on. For the record, it's not just me. People are healing. Yeah. Snake saying, yeah. Shitty quality. I hear him just I, fine, though. Me too. He sounds like... Almost no, like he sounds like he's cutting out for me. Yeah, it sounds like it's cutting out like low bit rate and it's like it's too loud. Weird. But he's not actually too loud. It sounds like he's like yelling into his mic. It's weird. That's weird as hell. I don't know how we can be hearing I'll, different I'll, things. Yeah, like especially when I hear him and I'm streaming Lowering this. him wouldn't help though. He would have to like be further away from the mic or something like that. Oh, then I have no idea. How am I now? Much better. Here. Yeah. Am I? Yeah, yeah, you are actually. That was perfect. Interesting. Also, I beat Bubble Men and ZG Unlimited. Thank you. <coughs> Did you say time's up, yada yada, or no? Um, you failed the university and whatnot. Oh no! No! <laughs> I I can't fail. This isn't fair. Put your Can hands I at least try another question? Nope. You only get one shot in the lightning round. Now get out of this class. No, I... This can't be happening. This can't be... Happening... I'm Thor. Ah! Well, what the hell is up with that dream? I was a girl with massive tits, and I was wearing the world's most ridiculous outfit? And ZG Unlimited subscribed? Damn! That's the last time I stay up until 3am reading that Valkyrie webcomic. Jesus Christ. Ugh, never doing that again. My name is Yale, and I'm 19 years old. I'm a university student, and apart from the crazy dreams, I'm a pretty average guy. <coughs> I'm currently in my first year of university, and I'm studying for a science degree. I'm also single, and that kind of sucks, but overall, things in my life are pretty good. Well, guess I better head to class. No point in overthinking that dream any longer. It's 9 a.m., so we'll begin today's lecture. We'll be focusing today's lecture on the role of ribosomes. One of the subjects is... Actually, you get this, the the thing that has no anything, Jund. Oh, thanks. You, well, you, you'll get more, that, too. That's you, though. <laughs> I'm nothing. I have no soul. Yeah, you're that's having. you speaking, though. One of the subjects I'm studying. Wait, well, wait, I don't understand. It might be me speaking, but that, that, that's you. This is, it's how, you speaking. How about, this, do it. how about this is my inner voice as Jund? That's stupid as fuck. Yeah. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it right. Fine. One of the subjects I'm studying this year in biochemistry. It's not a particularly difficult class, but the amount of homework we get is insane. I'm not exactly the best at keeping on top of my assignments. Oh well. I'm still managing to pass everything, and that's all that matters. Uh, uh, uh. And that concludes today's lecture. Make sure you do module questions 3 through 7 tonight, as I'll be quizzing you on the answers in our next lecture. Failing to answer a question will result in a 1% demerit from your final grade. That will be all. That's terrible. Also, purse pony subscribed. Also, that lecture was quite possibly the most boring thing I'd ever sat through. I actually preferred the dream lecture I'd had this morning because I was Thor. Because that at least also was eventful. Holy shit. These tits, damn, yeah, I everywhere. Know. Wow. Well, that was awful. And I even have homework too. It's like I'm in school. Like, it's such a waste of time. It's not like that stuff will be in the final exam anyway. It's just an excuse to make us show up for class. Ah oh, well, at least that's all of today's lectures out of the way. I've got to make it through the work this afternoon, and I'm home free. Yay, work. That's always fun. One of my mandatory subjects this year is workplace studies, and it requires students to spend one afternoon a week in the workforce. We're meant to do that the entirety of our course in order to get a feel for the working world because we're not going to actually get what we're trying to be in college for in the first place. We get paid minimum wage and we mostly have to do entry level jobs. It's a massive pain in the ass. For the past few weeks, I've been spending every Tuesday and Thursday working at Abaddon Laboratories, a scientific research firm located on the university campus. 
It's a research lab owned by some big drug company or something. That's probably how I'm going to be turned into a girl. They worked out a deal with the university to let them build their lab up there on the condition they take on student trainees every semester. And guess who was the lucky student that was chosen to work with them this semester? Mostly they make me do grunt work when I'm there. Like cleaning benches or putting away unused equipment. I even get to, I don't even get to touch any of the computers. It's like they think I'm an idiot or something. Or I'm not trained in this field at all. At least I'm Fuck. getting paid. Holy shit, look at that freaking poster. Like usual, I made my way across the campus to the lab. I took my time getting there because I wasn't in any particular hurry to start working. Oh, that's definitely a junt. There you are! Yeah, wait, should I, be, should I be having voice mods for this? Nah. I didn't consider that. Fuck okay. that. There you are, Yale. You're late. Yeah, sorry about that, man. I'm taller than you. I know. You've been late an awful lot recently. Yeah, I just don't care. Don't let it happen again, okay? It's gonna... My supervisor is a tall guy named Lam Nissan. It's not his name at all. He's doing research on a bunch of diseases or something, but I'm not really sure what he's been doing. He could be researching male pattern baldness for all I know. I've been tuning out a lot. All I care is that I have to do this job for my degree, and then I'm getting paid for it. The fine details of everything else doesn't matter to me. Alright, that doesn't seem important at all. Like usual, I settled into my regular work schedule. Labeling test tubes, pushing buttons on machines. He said he didn't get to touch the computers. <laughs> Fucking liar. Nothing overly complicated. People would ask me to do something, and then I'd do it. Simple as that. It was incredibly boring, and I absolutely hated every single second of it. I tried to do as little work as possible, so we didn't go insane from it all. I was cleaning up some beakers when I was approached by Liam again. For whatever reason, everyone around me had started working really frantically, and they all had a determined look on their faces. It looked shit like they... <laughs> It looked like I wasn't going to be able to coast today after all. Hey, Gale! Come here for a second. Uh, what are these? I need you to weigh out these tubes and then load them into the centrifuge for me. You need to make sure that both sides of the centrifuge have the same amount of weight on them, so you'll have to add a tube full of water to balance them out. Here comes a puzzle. Use these scales and let me know when you're finished so I can check them over before I start the machine. You got all that? Yeah, this is going to be an accident that's probably going to turn me into a girl. Yes, it is. Yep. Thanks. If you need any help, don't hesitate to ask somebody. Enjoy the boobs. Thank you, man. More boring shit, though. It sucked that I kept being given all these useless jobs, but I guess I was expected. Uh, it was expected. I'm sorry. I wasn't an actual employee. I was just a kid here on work experience. This isn't actually an important job or anything. Should I really bother putting any effort into this? Shit employee. God, he, he just keeps falling asleep. He's narcoleptic. <laughs> it's not like they'll care whether I do a good job What's or anything. He's up that mouth. <laughs> you know, it's like he's drooling. I'm kind of tempted to not even bother with this. Uh, hmm. I should... I can tune out and half-ass my work, or focus on the task at hand like a responsible young adult. How about you not be a shitty employee for once? Yeah, I know, right? Actually, I better do this properly. The job might be boring, but I am getting paid to work here. It'd be really shitty if I got fired and had to take my work experience course again next year. Who knows where yep. this stupid university would end up sending me. I could end up working at a farm or something equally awful. Okay, let's do this. Despite my best intentions, things didn't work out that well. I suddenly had tits. After a few minutes of weighing out test tubes, I got really, really bored. So I loaded up some music on my phone and listened to it while I worked. My music was pretty distracting and I spent a fair bit of time shuffling through my song library instead of paying attention. But I was getting everything done. I was a bit worried I might have screwed up some of my measurements, but I managed to get everything weighed out and loaded it into the centrifuge by the time Liam got back. Sorry it took so long, Yale. Is the work finished? I don't see tits. Uh, <laughs> yeah, me either. I must have did it ages ago. Good. You just give me a second to check it. 
Yeah, seems fine to me. There's an even number of tubes on each side of the centrifuge, and it's not showing any balancing errors. Looks like we're finally ready to mix the reagents. Good work, Gale. Thanks, I'm gonna be like Teddy Spider-Man. Nice. You're free to have a short break if you'd like. Just be back here in 20 minutes. Uh, make 25, buddy. Oh, well, you weren't last time. Just keep an eye on your watch, okay? We'll have a lot of work to do today. Don't worry. I'll remember. Well, okay then. I'll trust you this time, Baka Senpai. <laughs> Packed up my stuff and got ready to go outside. I figured I'd go sit under a tree or something for half an hour. Maybe I'd play... It's not half an hour. It's 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Holy he's shit. He's employee. My God. God. He's the worst. He's never going to get hired. Maybe I'd play some games on my phone, like freaking that Elder Scrolls game from way back in the day. I remember that. Yeah. They didn't need me here. And I didn't think Liam really cared all that much about me taking longer lunch breaks. What a dick. As I left the lab, I heard a whirr in the centrifuge starting up behind me. It was a big machine that made a lot of noise and had given me a headache on numerous occasions in the past. Like usual, <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is that supposed to say make it happen and science in all caps? Sure does. <laughs> Is science? Hey, never mind. Whatever. Like usual, the machine rapidly became louder and louder, and the sound of everyone working in the lab was completely drowned out by its monstrous whirring noises. For some reason, the machine sounded even louder today. I could already feel my ears hurting and I was halfway out the lab. I was glad I wasn't standing next to it right now. As I reached for the exit door, I heard someone yelling at the top of their lungs. Titties! <laughs> then all of a sudden, there was a loud crash. <laughs> <laughs> Placeholder! Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> it was a nuke! We made a nuke! A titty nuke! Oh my god, this is the shittiest game. And then there was titties. A huge wave of smoke completely engulfed me, covering my body and blocking my vision. A few seconds later... How much was this? How much was this? $25. One sorry. <laughs> Skyrim is $5. Yep. A few seconds this later... Better. I felt this... In they, they had to pay the artist, dude. It's true. A few seconds later... I felt this incredibly strange sensation in my stomach. It was like my body was on fire, and it was getting stronger with every passing second. The burning sensation ramped up my <laughs> intensity and spread throughout the rest of my body. Every part of my body hurt, but my crotch and chest were hurting the most. It felt like I was on fire down there, and my chest was aching like crazy, and there was a huge buildup of pressure forming inside my chest. Like there was something inside of me trying to push itself outwards, like titties! <laughs> and the pain didn't stop there! My crotch began to hurt because it was turning inside out! More and more! And I began to feel the strangest feeling! It was the opposite sensation to what I was experiencing <laughs> in my chest! As if parts of my body were being sucked <coughs> inwards rather than being pushed out! Look at that fucking face! <laughs> he doesn't have a neck anymore! My nipples also began throbbing with pain, and the pressure on my chest began to slowly subside as I felt my chest push outwards. The, my waist was stretching and pushing outwards as well, and my ribcage hurts like hell. The pain was worse than anything I'd ever experienced, and I couldn't even run away. I was immobilized. And that's <laughs> God. I was immobilized. The pain was so intense that I could barely bring myself to stand up, let alone move forward to some place safe where I couldn't be affected by this weird body-changing smoke. It was a nuke. The <laughs> nuke of titties. After what felt like over an hour of agonizing pain, it finally began to dissipate. As I regained control of my body, I leant forward to catch my breath. But as I did, so... My hair draped over my face. Which was weird, because my hair was normally short. Had the explosion made my hair longer like a Super Saiyan 3? But upon closer inspection, it became clear that my hair wasn't the only thing that had changed. What? The hell? Why is my voice so high? And why are my hands so small? They almost look like a girl hands! Eh. 
quick look confirmed the obvious. The balls were gone. For some ridiculous reason, <laughs> that explosion had turned me into a goyle. Holy carp! Boobs! Boobs! <laughs> I'm... I'm a goyle! But... Why? I didn't get it. This didn't make any sense at all. That was an explosion. A big, loud explosion with lots of smoke. And it kind of demolished half the lab. I'm sure lots of people are dead right now. It should have killed or wounded me. That caused my gender to spontaneously switch. What the hell is going on? I oh God. to a cute girl with long, brown, and big tits on my chest. My body had become physically smaller, and I had a big, curvy waist with a super smooth skin. On top of all that, I was barely fitting in my clothes anymore. I'm aroused. Mm-hmm. Already got my hands in my pockets all casual. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make sense. And I was pretty freaking freaked out right now and embarrassed. I was that lab looks... The lab it's is fine. Yeah, the lab is <laughs> entirely fine. <laughs> Absolutely fine right now. <laughs> uh, I was meant to be a guy, not some cute brunetti. I needed to undo this as soon as possible. I decided that I should find Liam or Derek, as they were the two head researchers here. Surely they would know what the heck had happened in that blast, and no way to change me back to normal. I mean, they were scientists, right? They had to know how to fix this. I tried to walk back into the lab to demand an explanation, but this proved more difficult than I initially anticipated because they're all dead inside. My shape had changed dramatically, and my sense of balance was completely different. I had difficulty even walking a few steps without losing my balance and having to grab onto something to steady myself. Like a dick. <laughs> You'd think that walking like a girl would be easy. But this sudden change in center of gravity had really thrown me. Walking back to the lab was almost a nightmare. But when I finally entered the lab, I noticed I wasn't alone in my ordeal. Oh, <gasps> everyone's got titties? Liam Senpai? Yes! Yes! All the people who had been men just moments before me transformed to voluptuous women. Not a single person was left unaffected. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're so big. Look at them. Jesus. They're so big. <laughs> One of the girls was really short, but had enormous titties. <laughs> they were way out of proportion <laughs> with the rest of her body. At least they understand that. That's true. <laughs> and another girl was short and cute, but had bright green unnatural hair. They didn't look anything like normal hair should. Anime. This was not good. Everyone was panicking like crazy, myself included. But after a few moments of absolute chaos, one of the girls, one of the girls, stood up and tried to restore order to the situation. Um, I don't know who this is. I don't know either. Um, Pretty sure that's you, Colonel. That's yeah. Liam. All right. Everyone, calm down. Man, my voice sounds so high pitched when I'm yelling. <laughs> Southern too? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we all need to take a deep breath and calm down. Clearly something really freaking weird just happened. I think it was to do with the centrifuge, but I have no idea where the explosion placeholder came from, or why our genders suddenly switched. Whatever happened, we need to settle down and figure out what caused this. Screaming and running around won't help anything. Judging from her clothing, that's, I guess that... this mystery girl was Liam. Fuck my life. Keep going. But I couldn't be sure. Apart from the clothes being the same, her new form was completely unrecognizable. Is anyone hurt? Apart from the gender swap, I mean? I'm so struggling to figure out what exactly caused this explosion, but I'm pretty confident it had something to do with the broken centrifuge dish fly- Fuck, it doesn't make it. it's just- well, it's a lie. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but as to why that caused an explosion is anyone's guess. <laughs> Alright guys, you probably have no idea who I am, Baka. If you hadn't guessed already, it's me, Liam! I must admit, seeing myself with seeing me turning into someone like this is probably pretty hard to believe, but it's really me, I promise. He's really level-headed right now for this. I know. Although you probably do believe me, because it looks like everyone else here was turned into a chick too. Wow, sexist. 
Anyway, I think we should survey the area for any damage first, just in case there's a risk of another blast. If anyone is- if everyone- blah, 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 then we should probably all reintroduce ourselves. I seriously don't know who any of you are, Baka. The explosion had damaged quite a lot of equipment <clears throat> in the lab, and there was still some smoke lingering around. But luckily an explosion hadn't caused any major or major Major's mask of structural damage to the building. It wasn't exactly ideal, but at least I didn't have to worry about the roof falling on me or anything. It didn't look like there was going to be a second explosion either. The centrifuge was completely broken, and there was pretty sure that it was was it triggered the blast in the first place. It was a fucking nuke. It appeared that one of the giant spin discs from the centrifuge had fallen out of its casing, and when it hit the vent, it somehow exploded. They were still figuring out the details, but it appeared the area was safe. For now. I thought that the exploding centrifuge might have been my fault, as I had set up the moments before the explosion. But on the other hand, Liam had checked all my work before starting the machine, and said it all was perfectly fine. The centrifuge going haywire was probably due to an electrical fault or something. Tuning out while I'm weighing out a few test tubes shouldn't have caused something catastrophic to happen. While everyone was else surveyed the lab, I managed to find myself a pair of scissors. My fringe was way too long and was driving me crazy, so I decided I should do something about it. I gave myself a haircut. There, much better. There you go. I think I might leave the rest of that this length, though. Call me weird, but I'm beginning to kind of like having long hair. I like metal. I can't exactly say that about the rest of my changes, though. I don't like tits. <laughs> After having double-checked the lab to make sure there were no further explosions, we gathered in the middle of the lab to introduce ourselves. <laughs> Double-checking to make sure there are no explosions. <laughs> nope, no explosions here. All right. Um, hello. I'm, a uh, Yale. And the explosion turned me into a female as well. This is a support group? <laughs> Wait, what? Did, did my hair just immediately change? Uh, they- I guess you like put it behind your ears. Oh. Oh my god, she is adorable! God. Oh uh, god, um... Snake or Russ? Snake, Russ, or Cheyenne, if Cheyenne wants to get in on this shit. Cheyenne's actually a girl, though. She needs to play a guy. Yeah, that's true. Playing. Russ doesn't want to know this. I understand. Snake. Snake, it's you then. I know, right? Did you give him the kid's voice? <laughs> Is that what you're doing right now? So freaking cute. I'm doing it. God damn it. Uh, can I go sit down now? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Thanks, Yale. Bye. I sat down and watched the rest of the girls reintroduce themselves. A few of them were pretty embarrassed about their new tits. <laughs> so it took a while to get through everyone. It was pretty interesting, though. Some of the transformations were simply incredible. There were giant boobs and weird hair colors everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, most of the They're lab self -aware. <laughs> Most of the lab victims had turned out really busty. I was glad I'd managed to end up having relatively normal sized tits. Interestingly, it turned out I didn't need my glasses anymore. The reason for this happening was just as bizarre as my sudden gender swap. But so it's like it is Titty Spider-Man! It is. <laughs> That's <laughs> great! But at least I didn't have to worry about my glasses falling off my face anymore. According to everyone else, I looked super cute without my glasses. They just wouldn't shut up about it. And it was starting to piss me off. I should have got contacts, but I was too lazy. I know I looked cute and fluffy on the outside now, but I was still the same old Yale on the inside. However, I had to put my rage aside and focus on the task at hand. I wasn't the best scientist <clears throat> in the bunch because I wasn't a fucking scientist at all. But I could help with basic stuff, and any work I did with the help of the other research could cure faster, could research cure faster. With that in mind, I tried my best to help out. But things didn't really work out that well. Pity man. Ow. Oh. Good god, they're huge. Um, Cheyenne? Ugh, are there no boys? No, uh, at least not right now. Oh, yeah, whatever. Did you hurt yourself again? Yeah. Nice girl voice. That's a great Thanks, voice. I've been working on it for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit shorter now. 
So I keep bumping into things because I misjudge distance with my breasts. I've hit my elbows in the cupboards at least a dozen times now. Oh, look at me squeeze my tits for you. <laughs> Tell me about it. I've been trying to carry test tubes and stuff, but my boobs are so big and my frame is so small, I end up losing balance and falling over. And I'm even shorter than you are. Think about this, though. At least I have tits in this game. Those are not supported right now, either. So those probably hurt like a bitch. Boobs are so annoying. Jesus Christ. Tell me about it. <sighs> but hey, at least you look cute. Is this gay? I can't tell. Why do people, 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 why do people keep saying that? Ah, oh, so cute. I I order. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Today has got to be the worst day ever. Yep, pretty much. Do you think we're gonna be stuck like this? Yes. Oh. I really, really hope not. I don't think I could cope with this body for the rest of my life. Look at those tits. You could fucking cope. Yeah. So much free shit. And yeah. At least you don't have two massive melon boobs on your chest to worry about, though. I feel like the creator of this game was just jacking off the entire <laughs> time he was making it. <laughs> If I take a single step, it sets off a chain reaction of super boop jiggling. It throws me off balance and it makes me or it makes it impossible to do anything. You should get a bra, dingus. At least you look cute. Obviously. I had that one coming. Bye. No matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't get used to my new form. I was weak and girly now and I that's really sexist. And I hated it. And I was desperate to get my old body back. <clears throat> However, the research team was working very quickly. Thing turned into chicks didn't really seem to hinder their performance much, because that really shouldn't. And judging by the conversation fragments I was hearing here and there, it sounded like they were making great progress. After a few hours of cleaning, I was approached by Liam, and a lot of typing. I was hoping he'd finally found a way to get me out of this ridiculous body. Thanks for clean. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Do it! Christ. Uh, pride. Thanks for cleaning up, Yale Chan. Lab's looking great. You hate Can't it. Can't wait right for that now. audio. You, you hate it. I'm Ah, oh, I gotta get grumpy with you. Yale Chan! I hate my fucking life. Yeah, because you're so cute. I'm not cute. Yes, you are. What if I called you Linda? <laughs> cute names isn't fun. Cause Linda's not like a forty-year-old woman name. <laughs> I know. Actually, that might work. What? Oh, wait, wait. What? Linda? No, just Lynn. Has a nice ring to it. 